Hello, everybody, and welcome back to whatever day of week this is. I don't know. I have no clue. I don't remember. <laughs> it's that day. Congratulations. Thank you all for sticking with me. We almost done. Smash like if you're sad, but also smash like if you're happy. Now, I, I promise you, I did not mean to wear the same outfit. I made a really bad joke about it a couple episodes ago. I promise you, I did not mean to wear the same outfit. I did like three <laughs> in a row. I didn't record three videos in a row. I recorded two in a row, and that's why the other ones were, but I, probably, I promise I didn't. But you know what I do have to make things different, CL? You know what I have? That's right. I have parents. <laughs> oh, look at this stupid thing. Look at look at this. I don't like this. That doesn't matter. What does matter is today we're playing a game that is still in development, but because Epic Games is has their ten dollar coupon for any game that's fourteen ninety nine or more, I bought Subnautica. Below zero, which I am so excited to play. You guys have no idea how big of a fan I am of the Subnautica series. I uh, loved the first one. I didn't play it. I should. I should. I might do my own series on that. But I watched Jack Spicy play it, and I watched the whole thing, and I just loved that game. And here's the new one. It's on sale, so I'm super excited to play it. So let's just heckin' play this game. Uh, Slub Subnautica Below Zero Story is now fully voiced. We recommend starting a new game for the best experience. Okay, yeah, it's cool. It's fully voiced now. That's cool. Uh, last I knew, it wasn't. So we're here. Uh, do I want survival, hardcore, creative, freedom? Oh, yeah, no, I want survival. Box, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Kale? That's almost my name. Sorry, I'm just boosting the levels. Don't worry about it. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Drop pod deployed. That's certainly a way to start off the game. Alright, if there's any real bugs at the You'll have to let me you'll have to remind me. There's no way I'm gonna remember that. Welcome to 45, 46 feet. Enjoy your stay. Oh well, thank you. Okay, is there anything cool in here? No? Okay. So from what I can Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay, it's just click. Ooh, I like that that, that it's clicked. This isn't really that smooth, is there? A way to smooth this out. Yeah, see this motion blur? Could you put just like a little bit more on that? Like for like this is a good one for like Made medium. It to four, five, four, six B. Landing was a bit rough, but I don't think Altera spotted me. I hid from their satellite. The drop pod deployed with gusto. I just have to find it and get settled. Hello. And I'll be able to get to work. Okay, sounds good. Um Wow. Yeah, this is kind of jittery, and I'm not entirely sure why it's so jittery, but it is. Uh, tab. Ooh, tab. I, I love that that is tab. All right, nutrient block. 
Do I just click and drag you? Where do I put you? I don't typically read a whole lot of these, so I'm sorry if you're looking for more. Welcome to the adventure mode, Xeno Worker. We've arrived in, in an Arctic climate. Your expedition begins. Your Xeno Works PDA is equipped with monitor temperature. Okay, this is what it's telling me to do. This is the surface. Uh, cold weather climates. Uh, okay, so hypothermia when it's dark out. A standard issue AEP suit bodies water. Okay, well, yeah, okay, that makes sense then. I was gonna say, like, Subnautica's, like, all underground. Hypothermia imminent. Oh, hypothermia if I just stand still? What? Dude. You gotta be joshing me, man. Oh, no, my health. My health is down. My health. My health. My health. I died of hypothermia. Why you gotta do me like that, hypothermia? I thought we were bros. Pick up a flare, pick up one of those. I don't want that out right now. New Fil synthesized. Filtered water. So how do I equip things to my oh wait is it one two yes okay that's that but if i want to put that okay that's cool can i select oh okay that's consume oh i can consume that that's cool but like can i not equip that then because that's not great <laughs> hypothermia i'm at 29 percent so I consumed these items, does that mean that, like, oh my goodness, that's what it does. Oh, oh, I like that. It also adds, like, like you can do things like that in a game that's, you know, an alien world. I like that. Uh, shift to run, of course. Very nice. I do love exploring, so open worlds are like, oh, I'm here again. Okay, never mind. I like open worlds because, like, you just get to explore everywhere, and I love exploring. Exploring is super fun. And exploring is my middle name. People don't really know that, actually. Yeah, exploring is my middle name. Okay, I need to do something in this game. <laughs> I am currently just running around. Oop. Oh. Food. Is there any way around, really? Jump. Yes, okay, I made it. Okay, I'm glad I can jump through because I feel like... It's warm underwater? What? Why is it warm? Underwater. Pick up ribbon. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Oxygen. Oh, we getting into this already. I'm gonna get the fish. This is our goal. Our goal for the day is to get a fish. Get a fish! Get a fish. Yes! Goal for today has, in fact, been obtained. I'd like to go to three, actually. Oh, we got a water fish. All right, new goal. New goal for the game. New goal for today. We're going to get a water fish. I don't remember what kind of fish I just got, but I want one of them sacky boys. I'm going to go for you first. You, know, you, can't, you, can't do the, you can't do this too early, right? Yes! Got a boomerang. Let's go with four. Yes! A bladder fish. Oh, new fish. New fishy. No. No, fishy. Fishy, no. I want you. I claim you as my own. Fishy, 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 yes. Arctic peeper. Oh, okay, and we're there. All of my goofing around took us exactly where we wanted to be. I definitely did that on purpose. I meant it 100%. And is this my base? Is this my base of operations? Uh, enter base, please. 
And I have oxygen. Found the drop pod. Okay, cool. Uh, here's my storage. Oh my goodness. Messages. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Good job, now Sam. I'll be able to improve I'm proud the mechanical of you. avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> See, potato. Potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tuber as nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. I love you too, even if your stance on Altera is, you know, very subpar, you know, if you, if you think it's just okay to go uh, mining all of the Altera B-41s without a permit. I mean, Four, five, four, six B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy penglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not you like You think me. you're kind of seeing someone. Let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. Yeah, it's it's probably not even a real thing, but anyway, um I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an really alien funny. intelligence startup will I appreciate succeed, that. but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. I love you too. These are basic materials. Got it. Electronic pieces. Wow. I'm making my way up in the world. Equipment O2. I need more titanium and uh, this. Can I make this? No, I don't have enough creep vine. I'll I'll go get that. Um. Can I? Oh no, I don't want that in storage. I want this to be one. Um. I don't know if I can do that there. Here, let's go on to this one. This one's a short hey, message. Robin. I'm sorry, my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not. Hey, Robin! Definitely I missed your one. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky but Hey! The nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job. My safety. Um. I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not. Welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. All right, now it's hey, actually Robin. go. I'm sorry, my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Mm. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. 
But uh, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Hey, Robin. I, I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. <sighs> you were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is... ugly. Dangerous. But, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but... I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. So there's a lot about her friend and her being a sister. There's a lot of friendship, sister, bonded, bonding, not bondage. Ooh, um, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so yeah, there's there's a big difference between how you end though, that word. There's a lot of stuff that's going on, and I'm I'm how far into the game? Found the drop pod. Is there anything better than being not cold and not wet? Well, I guess being not on fire and not injured aren't bad either. Now that I'm settled, I can start to look for you, Sam. I should reread the message your colleague sent me. Hey there, Xeno workers. I know there's been lots of rumors circulating, so I just want to clear some stuff up in the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us here. First of all, no, Altera did not buy us. We're still Xeno works. We are we're not going to move offices or start having some kind of hierarchical structure or even like making you show up on site or anything like that although you should for the snacks alone <laughs> all right i mean i'm good if, if there are snacks I'm, I'm i'm into that we're still the scrappy agile research first startup you all assigned you all signed in onto so what does this control stake stuff mean well i guess the most direct way to put it means more more equipment more research more more risk more experimentation more everything that makes us great and most of all more cash for you and your researcher and yes snacks dude say no more more money for snacks i'm all in tell me we were bought by china and i'm like oh no but you said but hey listen more snacks and i'm like say no more communism <laughs> Linda will be in touch pretty soon about exchanging your old gen Xenoworks PDAs for snazzy new Altera upgrades. And to help you get comfy with us, keep everything running nice and smooth going forward. So yeah, congratulations everyone, we did it together. And now we're gonna be able to do so much more. Okay, so they got bought. <laughs> did you see what that means? What do I wanna store? I can store a bunch of flares. I don't need that. Here's some plant stuff. I should probably, and I'll keep some of the titanium in there. Um, there's a bunch of fish that I don't need. Well, Sam, Tab. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Fabricate anything. Food, sustenance, uh, water. I'll make a water out of a bladder fish. That's always nice. I am a little low on water. I love that noise. Oh. oh, I need to go to options. Oh, I was so wrong to turn down the volume on that ambient noise. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That there's nostalgic. It's like that sonic uh, detonator from Attack of the Clones that uh, Django Fett releases. It just goes, blah. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I don't need those recipes to be pinned. I, I thought like they would just pin up somewhere and that'd be that would be kinda cool. You should have like a little like uh devs, if you're listening, probably not, but if you are, you should have like 
recipes that you can just like set up on your stations. Like if you have like a cooking table or something like that, you could just like pin recipes. That would just be cool. Resources, electronics, basic materials. I don't have anything I can make yet. I should go get some materials. Should be able to use this. Okay. Uh, I just have to tap on it a bunch. Just click, click. I don't have enough. Oh, I'm gonna need to get some of this seaweed. Oxygen. I heard something. And I swear to high, I'm not God. It's creep vine. Can I not collect creep vine? Do I, do I need something? No, 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 no. What happened? Oxygen. Oh, I'm stuck. It's okay, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Yes. I'm not quite ready to figure out what that noise is. I'm scared. Fish, 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 fish. I got you. Let's go with three. I should probably get air though before I go anywhere. And down we go. Salt. What is that? Hello? New creature discovered. He glows in the dark. I would you like to pick up beacon. Now with some blueprint synthesized, your Zena works. PDA to show or hide the signals of your choice. Uh, let's go with five. Is there anything else? I don't, I don't know. I think I have to. I do have to go up though. I can't see nothing, man. That's the noise. That's the noise. Oh, okay. Here they are. Here's the things that I have to open. Open crate. I'll take a first aid kit. I'll open this crate and take a... Ooh, a flare. That's nice. And I'll open crate and take a disinfectant. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay. Oxygen. Freak you too, man. <laughs> Why is this spicy? Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. That's what they always telling me. You need to breathe. And I'm just like, eh, no you. Uh, tab. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area. But luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, I don't there want were one of those either. any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. A compass would be kind of nice to have. A survival knife. <gasps> How to make rubber. I need creep vine cluster. Uh... But how do I get the creep vine cluster? Maybe if I scan it, I can open it? I don't know. This is me talking out me bum bum. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. Well, I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. 
Gosh, I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. That's important. Never had this conversation. I can leave the beacon there. There's a battery. Uh, what else do I need to make? I'm going to make a something. What was I going to make? Oh, yeah, a scanner. I need titanium for that. <gasps> I forgot my titanium over right where I was. I think it was just one titanium. Very nice. All right, I have a scanner. Heck yeah. Uh, tab. 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 In goes the battery and titanium. Now comes the scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. Heck yeah, that's my favorite xenobiologist tool. And fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also Stay give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. No, stay still. Stay still. Oxygen. Yes, I got it. Oh yeah, oxygen's a thing. Forgot about that. <laughs> if I scanned him, I am the winner. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. They stole my thing. I want my thing. Give me my thing. No, no, I want my thing back. No, no, please, I want my thing back. Give me my thing. I want my thing. Okay. Now leave me alone. Yeah, creep vine. Oxygen. Okay, so now if I put it away, I'm assuming that they can't grab it unless I have it out. So can I now grab creep vine? New blueprint synthesized. Hoopfish, you look freaking ugly, dude. Silicone rubber. Ooh, I can make fins, and I'll go faster. Yes, baby. Finally, some speed. I would like a knife. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. Blueprint synthesized. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, so I went off and got some stuff, and now I can get some fiber mesh, and I can get a tank. Yes! Upgrades, people. Upgrades. New blueprints synthesized. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Okay. I'm going to make that because it's just taking up inventory space, and I have no idea what else to use it, and they are kind of abundant. With a little luck, this won't be the last of my speed upgrades either. Very epic. This is a very Poggers gamer moment. And I know what Poggers means, everybody. And I am truly a Pog champ. And that's why I thank all of you for subscribing. Oh, well, that's something new. Lightning doesn't seem promising. See, look how nice it is here. And this is scary. That's... This is... Not what you like to see. Oh, hello, boyos. Wow. They're so adorable. I want one. And I will name him George. <laughs> and he will love dancing and singing and sledding and playing patty cake. Ooh, cold. It's getting cold. Sea glide fragment. <gasps> it's a sea glide. 
Speaking of which, there was some other stuff that I saw. There's another Sea Glide fragment. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! Oh. Okay, he's alive. Oh, my heart. I was gonna cry. I... Poor Georgie. Yeah, Georgie. Sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment, where are you? Sea glide fragment. Oh, where are you? Oxygen. I need one more. Just like I need oxygen. Oh, sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment. Oh, how much I need thee. What is that? Is that? Is, there's no way that's what. Ooh, they don't like fire. Don't you dare. I'll fight you. Oh, I have to grab it? What? I can't just swim by. Oh, sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment. Oh, sea glide fragment, sea glide fragment. <sighs> oh my gosh. You get even close to those and you're frozen. I just need to find one more sea glide fragment. That's all I really want. That's today's goal. Today's goal. Find the last sea glide fragment. Smash leg if you think we can reach our goal. Let me get some salt because I might need it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Ugh. Now you're going to tell me when you, I have 30 seconds of oxygen remaining? <laughs> that kind of sucks, dude. Probably should have stayed by and around where I was with the sea glide fragment. But did I do that? No. For why would I? Sixty-nine. Very nice. We're epic gamers here on the Copix channel. Smash like if you're an epic gamer. You know what epic gamers also do now that you smash like? They go to the Dragon's Treasure Tea and use coupon code Tom Assurance. To get two dollars off an order ten dollars or more, or Tom Assurance twenty during Weebmas for four dollars off any purchase twenty dollars or more. Speaking of which, I need to show you something that I got. That's right, I got myself the Dragon's Treasure Tea. It came a couple days ago, but I forgot to record opening it. Because I bought it for you on, you know, live with you guys. Just to show you how easy it was to use the coupon codes. It came actually pretty quickly, like three days. Alright, so do you guys remember what we bought? First of all, of course, we bought the tea. We got Sebastian's. Morning gray vanilla cream tea. Very nice. Mmm, it smells good. And I'm not just saying that, like it actually smells really good. Like the whole box smells good. And then here's a sample packet of Genkai's spirit tea. Haha, <laughs> nice. In a baggie. I love that there's samples. I love that um, if you order online from G Fuel, they do that too, and I love that he does that as well. And we got ourselves the indigenous teapot that you use to make tea, like loose leaf tea. You put it in, like if you see, you, you put it in here, and then you put it in the water, and then you just open it, it fills in, and it filters with boiling water. I love it. I'm so happy. And 
spending this money at no extra cost to me. I got this at no extra cost. I also donated three and a half bucks to Toys for Tots because I used coupon code Tom Assurance and saved four dollars. Well, I used Tom Assurance 20. And I'm going to close this before I die. Oh, I can make a locker, too. Okay, cool. It's waterproof. I have no idea. Can I just, like... I have to go outside. Freaking... Okay, man. Whatever you say, dude. Hopefully, this stays safe. Okay, let's put some... I'm gonna put all my copper in there. Now I'm gonna make another one. Open storage. I'm also gonna take all my copper out. Okay, cool. Seek fluid intake. Oh yeah, shoot. I did do that. Vital signs stabilizing. Cool. Let's make another one. Okay, that's all the titani ti titanium I have. Probably should have grabbed something before I did that, but here okay. go. Uh, copper, 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 copper. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's also drop that there. I have no idea what I want to put on put in that, so let's grab something. Storage. I I'll, I'll keep like some real fabricating stuff here. But yeah, let's I'll also put salt back in there. Um This can be my plant stuff. Okay, so let's open it, and we'll put quartz in there. Tab. Let's edit locker name, and we'll call it quartz. And... Edit the name, we're going to call it Plants. Is this it? Sea glide fragment? Yes! I can make a sea glide. Okay. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, we got everything. I went and got stuff. It actually didn't take very long. Oh, I can make another one of those. That's cool. Alright, we're gonna make a sea glide. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. That takes up space, but I don't care. I love it. I'm so happy. Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier Delta Station Dock. Oh, cool. So. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Yes, it is. All right, that's all the time I have for today. That's actually more time than I have today. It's like... It's exactly midnight, and I have to edit this video and have it up in 12 hours. And I have to be somewhere tomorrow morning. So, um... Thank you all so much for watching me. We got our thing done. We got our, whatever it's called, our toggle lights and map. <gasps> what? There's a map now? Oh my gosh. We got the sea glide. We can move faster. We're going to test it out. We're going to go off to the Delta Station dock. It's going to be amazing. We're going to do more things. I love this game so much already, and I've, I haven't even played that much of it. Oh, oh so cool. We got so many different... Uh, Goals out of the way. Smash like. And of course it's Subnautica Below Zero. It's a little bit of a wintry theme. And that's why it's in Weebness. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait till this is finished. 
we're in early access, baby. Uh, if anyone knows the developers, make sure they watch this. Or if you know anybody at all, make sure they watch this. That'd be super awesome. Get yourself some Dragon's Treasure tea. And I hope to see you tomorrow at the live stream from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. noon to midnight Eastern time. We're gonna be playing lots of games, games that you can be a part of. And we're all just trying to raise $100 towards a good cause. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.